This is a very exciting project. The idea is to use some of the recent advances in our understanding of the brain and the recent advances in technology to try and develop treatments for a variety of neuropsychiatric disorders. This project is funded by DARPA in support of President Obama's Brain Initiative. And we have been asked to focus on things that are directly relevant, first and foremost, to our nation's service members and to our veterans. Post-traumatic stress disorder, traumatic brain injury, depression, anxiety, and then as correlates of those, things like substance abuse and chronic pain. Major depression is a very big problem. It affects a large proportion of the population. It's the leading cause of disability, uh, both in the U.S. and worldwide, because it tends to affect healthy people in the prime of their life. And approximately 15 to 20 percent of people are treatment refractory. They don't respond to any medications. When you administer someone a psychotropic medication, when they take an antidepressant or an antipsychotic or anything else, it affects the entire brain and the chemical transmission throughout the brain all at once where what we actually need to do is only affect transmission in a single small area or more likely in a small circuit of three or four connected areas and leave the rest of it alone. This is going to be a high-tech device that can deliver electrical stimulation to specific areas of the brain to try and treat these remedies while leaving other areas unaffected. It's a five-year plan and it's ambitious, but the idea is to have a miniaturized device implanted in an ambulatory person who's going around and getting symptom relief as a result of it. The joy of producing something that helps people live better, helps people function better. Now, arguably, there's nothing more gratifying than seeing that come to fruition, particularly when it requires this level of technical expertise. Deep brain stimulation for psychiatric illness in general has been exciting. This is just the next level of excitement. And the reason is being because we're moving from open loop to closed loop stimulation. The current state of the art is that uh, you set the system to certain parameters and the system will stimulate certain brain regions and that will need to get adjusted by a physician on a regular basis. This is the first time that we are developing a system that will be self-regulating and self-adjusting. Often in science and in medicine, the most exciting discoveries come at the interface of different disciplines. And what this award does is allows us all to work together towards the same goal. We have people working at MIT helping us with the computational aspects, and we are working with people from the Martino's Imaging Center, probably the world's best imaging center. Our technology including our so-called connectome scanner, which is literally the only one of its kind in the world, allows us to map out the circuit diagram of the living human brain with unprecedented resolution. There's a very large amount of data that's going to be generated. So a big challenge is how to take this data, to analyze it, to extract useful information from it, and then to deliver treatment in real time on this very small implanted device. There's a huge engineering challenge there. That's where Draper Labs comes in. The biggest challenge on our part is to develop this ultra-small miniature device, and that involves developing advanced sensors, low-power electronics, packaging that is reliable in an aggressive environment in the body, and all of those have to come together into this very advanced device. Draper Laboratories has proven itself for building really small devices and being able to deploy it to the places where it's really needed. And we're going to do all that we can to make this a success. These are disorders that affect a large number of the population. Almost everybody's just one step removed from somebody else that has one of these problems. Our goal here is to give people back control of themselves. The most exciting thing about this for me is it's for returning veterans or war fighters, uh, for the disorders that they're coming home with. If we can develop treatments that would help them, it would be extremely gratifying. This has a profound implication for helping a lot of people. And the type of science that we will create and we'll discover from this, I hope will go beyond psychiatric diseases. It's an ambitious project, but even if we're able to prove the treatment of one or a few of these disorders which affect so many millions of people, then I think it'll be a worthwhile effort. So we look at this as a real challenge, but also just really the opportunity of a lifetime.